Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 11 Let's Play where today um, we, We're in trouble. Uh, <laughs> we're in trouble because we have two builders coming up in less than 10 minutes And that's a typical YouTube video a good old 10 minute YouTube video um, So yeah, we're in big trouble um, loot wise, but at least we don't need to worry about dark elixir or Elixir the laboratory still has over seven days to go that's plenty of time. All right, we're good to go on that. But basically what we need to do is we need to get out of that. We need to go and we need to grab um, as much gold as we could possibly get. All right, so today gold grabbing in our two raids. All right, so I've got my bow witch, the one that we were using last time, having fun with it. It's just, you know, I think that hogs are more fun as far as like strategy goes. But I think that bow witch is cool because it it's like literally... OP. All right, it's literally OP. Also, if you look at the gameplay down there, I've got the double row thing turned on because I was doing Legend League attacks and uh, with my on my Town Hall 12, and it's just easier to uh, to pick through everything. And honestly, this Bow Witch strategy, it's got a lot of moving parts, so it may be a good idea if you have a tablet to enable that using this the uh, the settings, the advanced settings section or whatever it is. So I'm gonna leave it on for the first attack because honestly. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you guys. I forgot that I had it on, but we're going to go and use it today in the manner that it was meant to be used. And then hopefully I can remember to turn it off for the second raid. But it, it's good for me to actually show off these kind of things. But a lot of people don't even know that they're there. So, guys, I'll be right back once I find a perfect base, something with tons of gold that we can waylay. Also, for clan games, I need to three-star a base. So hopefully I can find a base that I can also triple that's got a ton of gold. Like that one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but I can't triple that. Wow, but that's 600,000 gold, dude. Seriously, look at that. Oh, but it, oh, but it's not a max town hall 12. Yes. Okay, we can three-star this. We could totally three-star this. Basically, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to YOLO this, all right? We're going to go all out because if I don't three-star this, then it, it really doesn't count. But I need the gold. Oh, but I need the gold. But I need to three-star it. But I need the gold. But I need to three-star it. Um, okay, we're going to go against the eagle. Here we go. Let's go, um, let's go Giants first, Wall Wrecker, King, Queen, and Warden. We're also going to go Witches. We're going to go uh, Bowlers, just like so. There we go. And then the Lucky Wizard. All right, so everybody, you guys need to just charge straight in and take out the Eagle. All right. Oh, my, my goodness. Look at all my Bowlers. Okay, I've got a few Bowlers coming, but most of them are not. <laughs> most of them are not. And, oh, wow. That queen was only level 20. Okay, my bad, dude. I, I dropped the the free the poison spell thinking, okay, well, there's no CC. So it's all good, right? Um, <laughs> but the queen was dead before the poison spell was even dropped. Anyway, so pop that king's ability. Get up in there. And let's pop the warden's ability, too. Keeping everybody alive nice and well. Let's actually jump up and through that. And I'm also going to drop another rage into the core. Now, I'm going to hold on to my free spell. I do want to drop a heal. I'm going to hold on to my free spell for the single Inferno. So let's drop a freeze on that single Inferno. Now I've got one more single on the left. <clears throat> There's a multi on the right. So we're, I think we're okay as far as that goes. <clears throat> so th this is good. This was a Town Hall 12. Granted, a rushed Town Hall 12. And it looks like we're going to be able to pull off a three star, which is awesome. Um, I just have to be very careful about my free spell. And then obviously, my Archer Queen's special Royal Cloak ability because I think can come in super handy as well so um, I'm thinking as soon as the gold mine goes down the queen will start oh, she'll go for the mortar and then she'll try to get into the uh, multi infernal compartment here so let's just let them go through and I'll use my queen's ability to get to that single oh 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 what happened where did that single go I think the witch's skeletons took it out okay cool <laughs> so that's what we need right there that is six hundred thousand plus a loot bonus that was over eight hundred thousand gold got a lot of elixir and dark elixir too so that is happiness in a bucket now got a little bit of uh extra loot there and i actually have i have an extra i have an extra free spell i guess we'll go in with an extra free spell that's fine i just won't have a i won't have a poison so if there's a CC, I might want to keep that po You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of a free spell to bring the poison because you never know when a poison spell is going to come in some deep, deep handy. All right, so I've got some CC troops coming right now. Uh, let's go ahead and... Do I have any... I mean, I don't remember last time I raided. I think 
I don't think I filmed. I don't think you guys have seen this raid. This was another Town Hall 10 v 11. No, I'm sorry. 11 v 12, three star uh, on a dead Town Hall 12. This one happens to be a max Town Hall 12 with a, uh, a Gigabomb. But the loot was amazing. I mean, 400,000 Golden Elixir, over 4,000 Dark Elixir. Pretty good with that Champion League loot bonus. Again, every single time you find a dead base of any sort, if you're up in Champion League, this baby is worth it. It's worth the destruction that you're going to be throwing down onto it. So check this out. Wallwrecker actually is able to get through these walls in two shots, not three, like if you're attacking max walls, so that it makes it a lot faster. And um, pretty much everything funneled in, keeping the rage spell over everything too. I mean, a single rage bowler can do a ton of damage, so it's kind of a big deal. But there we go. So the Warden's ability... Uh, Hopped, but the Gigabomb, nobody actually broke into that compartment, so the Gigabomb did not do any anything of note. So, great stuff. Queen still has her ability. I've still got a freeze, and I've still got a rage spell. Actually, I don't think I use... I think I, I might use the rage spell. I don't remember. There's the jump, leading the queen in to really the last outpost of defenses. Like, there's the freeze. I got the double cannon to try to keep the queen alive as long as possible. She's also going to get... The Wizard Tower, which was huge because the Wizard Tower is really the only thing that's going to be stopping this raid from being a 3-star now because of all of the Witches. And the Witches are weak to Wizard Towers just because of the splash damage. And also, a couple of Wizards ganged up on an Expo. That was also a very dangerous troop because the Expo is very fast. You know, it's shooting all the... It can shoot all the skeletons and then target a, a Witch. So... Worked out really nicely, guys. Another, so this is my second 11v12 three-star that I'm showing you guys here today. Uh, you gotta love it. The loot has been really, really great. And with the loot bonus, this one was over 700,000 gold as well. So can't complain. Gotta love it. And not that I need Dark Elixir, but that's a pretty solid amount of Dark Elixir to nearly 6,000. So not too shabby. And thank you so much for the troops, guys. I now have a CC. I have no heroes this time. So that's gonna be an interesting thing, but definitely part of reality of farming. So let's try to find a base that has plenty of gold i might not oh oh clan games right all right so let's go bounce into the clan games i have um collected that and maybe i can do one that's super easy 16 stars in two days you know what i will farm off camera and try to get 16 stars in two days just for clan games but anyway once again no heroes um so i'm gonna be able to tr uh, try to hit a base Oh, I forgot to switch. All right, so this is how you turn on that double layer, by the way. You go to your settings, you go to more settings, hit show, and then the extended, enable extended deployments bar in home village at the bottom. You turn that off, and boom, now we're back to a normal deployment bar. Uh, highly recommend that you use that, guys, if you are able to. And this base doesn't look too bad. All the loot looks like it's down here. Oh, wow. Actually, you know what? No, this is not a very good base because two of the storages are at the top. That's 200,000 gold, assuming, up at the top. And assuming that I, because I don't have my heroes, I probably won't three-star the base. But I have CC troops. You know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just YOLO. All right, let's go. All right, so uh, we're going to go two witches. We're going to go giants and bowlers. Someone else is going to do the same thing over here. Two witches, two giants, and two bowlers. Let's go uh, giants on that side. Wall wrecker. Witches on that side. And then the bowlers. want to make sure that the bowlers primarily go into the core with the wizard. And fortunately, this is a Town Hall 11, so, you know, that helps, uh, given we're attacking a, a base without heroes, but it's also, we don't have a Warden, so that's kind of a big thing, because the um, the Warden's ability saved us from that Gigabomb, so this is good, this is great. Alright, so let's actually drop a Freeze on either side there, and I'm going to send a Jump Spell in against the enemy Queen, let's also get a Rage Spell over the enemy Queen too, so sweet. So we got the Town Hall, that was awesome, um, but we missed... Wow, we missed three out of the four gold storages, and there's definitely not enough to get us all the way through here. So that's a terrible thing. Um, we missed a lot. I kind of just remember I was about to back out, right? I was like, oh, man, maybe we shouldn't hit this because the gold's going to be hard to reach, especially without heroes, blah, blah, blah. And I said, you know what? Let's just go for it. And that is actually a mistake. It was probably good for the video. Like, that was entertaining because it was a pretty strong base. Um, but it wasn't a good move for farming. So that's, I guess, learn from my mistake, right? Don't get caught up in the hype, in the, um, in the, the thrill of hitting a base that may be a challenge. You know, if you search a little bit longer, you'll find something like a dead base and it'll be an easy three star, no problemo. So anyway, um, I think we're waiting on this giant. Are you, are you, are you, are you really what we're waiting on right now? He's sitting there. Oh, he gets through the wall. Okay, we're going to follow the journey of the last giant. All right, you got this, bro. All you have to do 
is okay. <laughs> that was terrible. He he had like no health left, man. <laughs> that was so bad. All right. Well, anyway, um, uh, the gold grabs was still not terrible. I mean, three hundred forty-five thousand gold altogether. Um, a decent amount of elixir and dark elixir as well. So I am pleased, but definitely not satisfied. If that makes sense, like. Definitely want to be a little bit more careful whenever choosing an army, but, or I'm sorry, choosing a base. But now, the attacks are in the books. Let's get in there and let's see what we can do with the loot that we have. All right, let's pop into my progress base. Again, those two builders are done. So now we have two more max archer towers, level 15 for town hall 11. We have three builders available and I've only got 6.4 million gold. I think I've got a little bit in the treasury. So I, I believe... Yes, we have the perfect amount, guys. 7.1 million gold. And the cheapest gold upgrade available to me, besides the walls, is 7 million. So we've got just enough to do an upgrade. So I say we go ahead and just jump in and do it and then talk about our options, okay? So 7 million gold, Archer Towers, going to max, trying to get them all done. Let's go in three, two, one, bam. All right. So um, where do we go with this? I guess we can go there right there. It's kind of stair-stepping. It's so... This progress base is ugly, right? It's just terrible. I'm working on it though. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of my way through how I can maybe make it a little bit better. But there we go. So we got three more archer towers left, each seven million. We've got eight, no, six, seven cannons to upgrade each seven million as well. So we got a lot, we got a lot to do. But the problem here is that we've got two builders available. I've got two more coming up in a day's time. And I'm nowhere near enough gold. So here's what we're going to have to do. We're either going to have to go in and buy some gold and get some builders going, which is fine. I've got enough metals to buy four, eight, nine different packs of two and a half million gold, which would, which would account to what, like 22 million gold if I really wanted to do that. But I'm thinking since I just accepted this clan games to have to collect like a million stars in a two day period, I'm just going to do some boosts off camera and maybe we'll see you guys tomorrow, you know, with uh, more loot and farm it up organically and try not to uh, use up our metal so much. So that's how I'm feeling today. I feel like my opinion changes on a daily basis on this. Uh, but right now I'm feeling like we should stay the course and maybe spend a little bit extra time, like invest invest our time and do it the right way um we're so close to having max defenses i mean really not that far away anymore and we got a million walls left so maybe we should be focusing more on walls in fact that reminds me i'm gonna upgrade a wall with elixir bam there you go also i have an elixir rune so is there any way i could no okay i'm gonna need to get to four million elixir exactly Buy a wall, get us to zero, and then use the rune of elixir to max out our elixir to upgrade more stuff. I don't want to waste my rune until the perfect moment. So, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. 1.5 million elixir coming up and 630 points. <laughs> so we got a little ways to go. So guys, I guess that's going to have to do it for me today. I mean, we learned a lesson, I feel like. Today was about learning a lesson, and that lesson is don't get caught up in the hype. All right, don't attack a base just because it looks good. You know, be careful. Attack bases that are weak enough. You're just farming. There's no point in challenging yourself, right? Just have fun, get the loot, upgrade your stuff, and move on to the next town hall level. That's what farming is all about. Um, if you're, let's say you're in Legend League, then you have no choice. You're probably going to hit max 12s. If you're in War, then yeah, challenge yourself. Restart those bases, win for your clan. Same thing with CWL. Make sure that you guys are trying to restart your bases. But in farming, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to try not to make that same mistake next time. Guys, that is going to have to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have not done so already for daily Clash of Clans videos and to join the Klaus family. And remember, guys, that I love each and every one of you. Here's the new Archer Terror. <laughs> remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.